The last tutorial showed you how to create this menu module in the upper right hand corner of every page of your site. This tutorial will teach you how to create a custom HTML module that can feature custom text and images. That module can go in any position on your site and I'll also show you how to incorporate that module on specific pages. First, go view the module map for the template that you're using to pick a position for that module. We're using the Meet Gavern template from Gavic Pro, and I'll use this header position. I've already pre-edited an image to fit this position for our custom HTML module. The next step is to return to the back end of the site. Once there, open up the module manager. To create a new module, click on the New button in the toolbar. There are many different module types, and they're all worth learning about we're going to create a custom HTML module to feature custom text and images. First you'll have to create a title for that module and then select the module position. I'm going to browse for the header position for the Meet Gavern template and select it. The next step is to select the text or images that you want to incorporate into that module. Do that by going to the custom output tab. Using the JCE editor, I can add text or upload an image into this custom HTML module. I'll use the image manager to browse my computer for an image that I've pre-measured to fit this module position. After I browse my computer and find the image, I'll select it and upload it to my media manager. Remember, after I upload the image to the Media Manager, I still need to click on that file name so that the information in the Properties in Preview window at the top of the Image Manager is complete. After I do that, I'm set to insert that image into the module. At this point, I'll save the module, and I'll return to the front end of my site. I'll refresh the page, and I can see my banner Custom HTML Module. Notice if I go to the second page on the site by clicking on Menu Item 2, that module also appears on this page. I can assign the module to different pages on the site. To do that, return to the back end of the site and click on the Menu Assignment tab. Right now, this module is assigned to all pages. From this drop-down, I'll change that to only the pages selected. And then I'll deselect Menu Item 2. I'll go ahead and save the module again return to the front end of the site, refresh the page, and the module is gone from this page, but if I go back to my first menu item, the module will still appear here. That concludes the Getting Started tutorials for Joomla 3.0, but don't be shy, you can browse our knowledge base full of hundreds of how-to documents to continue learning how to develop your own site.